The thing that's amazing about this entire thing, this entire issue with the coal terminal, is that for years now we haven't really had anything that's brought a community together. And in the last year and a half, we have had uh, people come out of the woodwork because this issue is so incredibly important. To, it's one of the few uh, really broad issues where people can look at every component of it, whether it's Montana and Wyoming looking at strip mining, looking at the impacts on aquifers and ranches and farmers and jobs there, looking at the costs to communities along the way. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of imagination to understand that when 20 for this project or 50 or 60 trains are coming through your community every day, that there will be a huge impact on quality of life. In Bellingham, we met with folks from the Western Action Coalition who have been organizing against the Cherry Point Terminal. Um, Cherry Point is just north of Bellingham. We were at their meeting. We worked on helping them paint a banner that they sent along with us. We met with some various community members who've been working with a group called Resources, who have been working as a community group at the city level in terms of town hall meetings and city politics to stop the proposed terminal. We also worked with folks who were phone banking at the Power Pass Coal Office, which is the headquarters um, of a lot of the no coal northwest organizing. From there we followed the rail line down over to eastern Washington, uh, stopped in Spokane for a night, um, which is home to a lot of the organizing against the coal trains going through Spokane. In Sandpoint, Idaho, the Lake Ponderay waterkeeper um, took us out on the boat ride underneath the Long Bridge, uh, which is where a lot of the coal trains are running through right over the lake. Um, and we got to experience firsthand what the coal dust would affect in the water. So later that evening, met up with a bunch of community members and held a no coal forum um, at the, the lake there and had folks share stories about what they've been doing, but also learn about the impacts um, from the proposed coal trains. From there, we made a quick stop in Clark Fork, Idaho, um, and met up with Don, who's a local business owner, where he spoke uh, to his concerns with coal trains with the local economy um, as a small business owner, as well as as a resident of the town and the impacts that the, the trains have on the town itself. When we got to Missoula, we met up with the Blue Skies campaign um, organizers who have been working really hard on putting together the coal export action. And our caravan was then three cars strong. We made it to Helena finally, which is the site of uh, the coal export action where folks are converging together over eight days to hold community forums, skill shares, trainings, uh, all in the rotunda in the state house, um, and staging sit-ins at the end of every day to stand up against the Otter Creek coal